Presidential spokesperson Harry Roque on Tuesday, December 29, dismisses claims of corruption after top government officials and members of the Presidential Security Group, or PSG, were confirmed to have been vaccinated ahead of approval from the Food and Drug Administration. When asked whether such officials violated the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act or the Republic Act 3019 for receiving the vaccine as a donation, Roque argues the vaccines could be categorized as a Christmas token. Ako po ay abogado. Hindi po yan absolute. Yung mga tokens po, pinapayagan naman. Yung pong vaccine is a token? I don't think it's of much value anyway. No? So yung mga little value wow. sa mga oh. special occasion, I'm not arguing. So yun lang po nakasaad sa batas. Contrary to Rocca's claim, vaccines are currently one of the most scarce and sought-after medical resources in the world. So much so that the Philippine government lags in its procurement. Meantime, FDA Director General Eric Domingo on Tuesday, December 29, says he ordered an investigation into the issue after the AFP and Interior Secretary Eduardo Año confirmed the early vaccination activities. Domingo says neither the Health Department nor the FDA were consulted over the early use of a COVID-19 vaccine on soldiers and other government officials. He adds they are firm in their stand that the public should not be vaccinated yet because no registered vaccines have undergone FDA's review at this time. In related news, the FDA also announces the Philippines has approved the application of Janssen Pharmaceutica to conduct Phase 3 clinical trials for its COVID-19 vaccine in the country. The Janssen Pharmaceutica trials mark the first late-stage trials for a COVID-19 vaccine in the Philippines. Janssen is the pharmaceutical firm of American multinational corporation Johnson & Johnson.